Someone writes in and says, my wife seems like a different person. What's going on? And my name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And our approach to marriage is so different from everything else out there. So I always tell the truth. I don't cut anything out. Let me begin with telling you why you got married. Isn't that crazy that I'm gonna tell you why you got married instead of asking you? You got married because you wanted to be happier every day of your life. You wanted to experience unconditional love in your marriage. You want it because as a human being, unconditional love and happiness, believe it or not, those are our birthrights. We don't see much of it in the world because people don't know, they don't understand but those are your birthrights, happiness and unconditional love. And when you get married, you're in this sphere, this perfect sphere of what should be joy and happiness. It's called the marriage. I call it the sacred space of marriage. There's just two of you in there, you and your soulmate. By the way, subscribe to this channel now before I forget to remind you. So the two of you are in there and you're saying, I don't understand my wife anymore. She, she seems to have changed. What's going on? How much effort have you put into understanding your wife, not just dealing with her on the very shallow level? What have you done proactively to understand her, to know her? So you're seeing only the surface stuff that's changing and you don't know what's going on because you don't know her thinking. I bet you don't know her philosophies. I bet you don't know how she feels about some big things, important things. We don't get married to just bounce off each other. We get married to connect as souls because that's where the love is. There's no love in the mind. Let's be clear. The mind is a computer. It has emotions, that's not love. Love is that feeling that you have that originates in your heart, that is overwhelming, it's bigger than the mind. That's where your marriage is supposed to be taking place. And all of your actions within your marriage are supposed to spring from this love, this ever-growing, ever-expanding love that you have for your wife. Don't worry about the love that she has for you. You can only control yourself. So her changes are affecting you because they don't tie in to an awareness you have of really who she is. So what you can do about it, because that's really what you're asking, is you start paying attention. And you don't just ask her questions because she'll just answer. You know, everyone has a philosophy. You can ask them their philosophy and they will tell you and it won't match up with their behavior. That's the norm. We have to learn to synchronize those, but you have to learn to synchronize that for yourself. She has to learn to synchronize that for herself if she so chooses. In the meantime, your job in your marriage is to love her with all of your heart, mind, and soul. So anything that you could think of that is not loving that you do, maybe you talk to her sternly, maybe you give her harsh looks, maybe you give her commands, maybe you're disrespectful to all of that stuff has to go. No more arguing, no more um, I conversations where I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You need to start loving your wife, putting her ahead of yourself. And then you will start to get to know her. It'll just happen automatically. The more you get to know her, you may be thinking, well, I'll see her flaws, but you're going to disregard those flaws because what you want is that love. Everyone's got flaws. Some people have these flaws, those flaws, doesn't matter. Ignore them. 
Go for the love. And then you'll see her changing yet again, but this time changing into what you originally thought she was, which is your soulmate. That's where it's at. Subscribe to this channel, watch these videos, check out our website, get one of our products, listen to our podcast. We have a new podcast. Go to the marriagefoundation.org. God bless you. This is not a big thing if you do what I suggest. <laughs> okay. Take care and thank you for your time.